Well, a personalised vaccine trial has significantly reduced the risk of secondary cancers after treatment from melanoma. The combination of experimental Moderna melanoma vaccine and a, an immunotherapy drug cut the risk of new cancers by 44%. The findings mark the first time a cancer vaccine has proved to be effective. The results will need to be confirmed, though, in a stage three trial, and that needs to involve 1,000 patients. It's due to start next year. And joining me now is Professor Georgina Long from Melanoma Institute Australia. Thanks so much for your time, uh, Professor. Talk to me about how significant this breakthrough is. Well, well thanks for having me. Uh, this is a huge step forward in cancer therapy. Uh, we liken it to a second penicillin moment in cancer therapy, similar to what we saw with immunotherapy in the last decade, which has revolutionised the treatment of melanoma and other cancers. So this was a randomised trial, a smaller phase two randomised trial, which showed that when we add a personalised vaccine, an mRNA vaccine to our standard immunotherapy, in this case it was pembrolizumab, mm. to patients who had had all the melanoma removed, so it had been surgically removed, but we knew that this group of patients were at very, very high risk of the melanoma coming back. When we added a personalised vaccine designed for their tumour, they had a much lower, in fact, a 44% lowering in the risk of recurrence from their melanoma. This is a world's first to show that the mRNA personalised cancer vaccine approach works mm. uh, and it has significant impact on what we're doing with other cancers as well. Uh, Professor, it's incredibly impressive. How long has it been in, in the works and how did you even know to combine these two treatments? So it's been a long time coming. Uh, we know in melanoma particularly because a lot of the new immune therapies happened in melanoma first. That's where these first uh, penicillin moments in cancer therapy happened. Uh, we've been working with using the immune system in melanoma for decades, and we saw our first success about over 10 years ago with what we call these checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, we were actually working with mRNA vaccine with Moderna before COVID, in fact, that was their focus, the cancer therapeutics. And then Moderna changed focus rightly for the pandemic and showed a lot of success. Uh, and then we were able to see the results of the trial that we commenced before the COVID pandemic. Uh, this is this is uh, science and research that has been happening for a long, long time um, and is now coming to fruition, which is, which is wonderful for patients. Yeah. Uh, mRNA technology will have a knock-on benefit for so many diseases, not just infections like COVID and, and cancer like melanoma, but it has potential across so many indications in medicine. Okay. It's wonderful. Yeah, it really is, uh, Professor. So how does this work? I mean, you can't, you need to wear sun cream still. You can't go out in the sun and, and burn your skin. You still need to be quite conscious. So how does the vaccine work in conjunction with high sun exposure, if that's okay, articulate so, enough? <laughs> yeah, I'll explain it. I think there's a really important point. This vaccine does not prevent you from getting melanoma. You absolutely must take all the prevention methods that we always talk about, and that is the UV, the sun exposure. That is critical. This vaccine and this trial was in people who already had melanoma, and we were trying to prevent the melanoma from coming back, because if the melanoma comes back after you've had it, it is deadly. We know in Australia, every six hours, someone dies of melanoma. Every 30 minutes, someone's diagnosed with melanoma. Mm. So this trial was in people who already had melanoma. So the message about staying out of the sun, wear your clothes, long sleeves, hats, glasses, and then the last thing in the plank is sunscreen. Sunscreen's okay, but you're better off wearing good clothing, hats, and sunglasses. That is important. That does not change. You've got to do that. <laughs> Uh, this vaccine is about people who have already had melanoma um, and we're trying to prevent a high-risk bad melanoma from coming back. Now, the way it works 
is we take the patient's melanoma that's been completely removed by surgery. These are high risk patients. It's not every person with a melanoma. We have to remember that the vast majority of melanomas in Australia are cured with simple surgery and are not at high risk of coming back. These are people at high risk of it coming back. So we remove all the melanoma. They had stage three or even stage four uh, melanoma that could be removed by surgery completely. And then we designed or took their tumour and designed an mRNA vaccine. Moderna created an mRNA vaccine based on that individual patient's melanoma to train the immune system against their individual melanoma. And this was given in conjunction with pembrolizumab, a drug we routinely give to those patients. Um, and, and we saw a huge benefit over and above just giving pembrolizumab alone. So the vaccine really did help that immune training. So it's about training the immune system against the melanoma so that it can't come back. Professor Georgina Long, I am in awe this morning. Thanks so much for explaining that to us. It is quite a breakthrough. Appreciate your time. Thank you.